Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. 2005 Land Rover Discovery 3. Uh, <laughs> the dreaded FIP belt. Fuel injection pump belt that's located in at the back of the engine in here. We're going to have a go at it today. This is the same car. There's a video on the channel to do with the uh, normal timing belt on the front of the engine. Uh, still going strong. That was... I think completed two days ago now uh, if you're looking to look at that video check the channel out it'll be on there so yeah let's get to it see what we can't break hi everyone it's the day after I fitted the fuel injection pump belt to the car just been trying to edit the video and I've realized at the start that on the video, the video camera is about this angle and I'm in around this area and you can't really see a great deal there's not a lot of detail being explained to you so I just want to make this sort of add on to it explain to you how we get to this sort of part here because it's not very well explained in the video so obviously the top cover comes off two battery, battery cover comes off that cover comes off and then once you're in here Battery comes out, battery's coming out, this here comes out, you can see down in here it's got some clips on it, here and here, and then that screw needs to come out for that heat shield, that gets pushed to that side, this here, this piece here is part of, sorry for the fingers, this piece here is part of this whole thing. Your battery lead has to get lifted over the top of it and this whole thing comes out underneath. I apologise for not explaining it very well in the first video. This side here is exactly the same as the other side. So the top comes off and then this side thing out round it comes off with the same sort of clips down in there. As you can see my heat shield on this side, because I did one of the... Uh, because you've got to take that heat shield out to get at the top bolts of the air suspension strut. That's why that's not been put back together yet. Uh, yeah, that comes out. If you can see it. Not a very good day for light. That comes out. And then that, and then that sort of frees up these two areas. And then we are back into, in the video, sort of into this area. You'll see with the video starts again here uh, with a better camera angle and that comes out the bolts for that are underneath there's one of them there you just see it with the light and there's another one over the other side here and that just drops down not this this top bit don't drop down just this plastic loom holder that runs across the top of the bulkhead so yeah, I just wanted to take the time to explain that for the start of the video. Because it's not very well explained and not only that, it's got most of my bloody shoulder in the video. You can't really see a great deal because of the camera angle. Probably going to start with taking the battery out. <clears throat>
Right, I'm not too sure whether the battery has to come out or not, but that's what I'm doing. things to worry about. Right. This slides out of there. These come apart. The slide, who wants to slide it? Right down in the background. Grab the camera here. Just so I can get a reference of where those plugs go. I'm just gonna take that plug out of there and then that should allow that wire and harness to come out. To the main ECU. I think that one there is to do with the transfer box, the transfer case. 
That's where it keeps it says on it. Um, that might give us some better access in there. Been an over. Right, so here's where we are. We've taken that off. Two bolts underneath here. One there, another one there. For this to drop down, you need to take all the side off here. Just in the process of marking up the ECU connectors, one with one, two, two, so I don't get them mixed up for going back on. And yeah, once those are out, this will all be able to come round and go away from the car, further from the front of the bulkhead, which hopefully will allow me more access down on that way. So these, I'll show you in here.
so ECU's been marked up, plug's been taken out. This one here goes down and through the bulkhead into the cabin. That goes up through the bulkhead. So there's no way of getting those out of there. So you're just gonna have to persevere with those. Sorry for my arm. At that, that angle. So what I want to try and do is probably get that. Plastic cowling off, get this off, and then there. There's the thing we're looking for down in there, the cover. Not a lot of space, but we already knew that. So. Okay, change the view. Right. Pipes will now have to be moved. I have to watch my own video back to get this thing back together. That much to this job. So that goes. Right, so can lift that up over and back a bit. Not as much as I would like to though. This plastic thing here. I don't know how we do that. God knows. Right. <clears throat> this this water pipe has to come off. It's just sorry there's some off camera there, but I need access to the front of the car to get leaned in there. So this water pipe is going to have to come off. It's a 
I don't even know what it's for because I've not got EGRs on this. Uh, not that that's probably what it's for anyway, but I don't really want to have to drain the coolant out, but I'm going to have to now. So. So. So, so, so. <clears throat> right. Jesus. Drain the coolant out. Do slow round, it's going to break in to the cone at the top of the radiator. Land Rover, mm -hmm. what do you see me break into this thing? Water in the lens? Nope. Right, that should allow that pipe now to come up over, under, wherever. Uh, far enough, is it? Better. Yeah, definitely. Right, to be sure, to be sure, to be sure. It's getting there slowly. Oh my god. Honestly. I reckon taking the body off would be easier. On my front drive. Right, let's see if we can get you in there for a minute. Show you what's going on. Right. That black holder for electric leads runs. There's the casing. This pipe here, I can't do anything with. See it? I can't seem to. I think it goes to the uh, fuel reel is where it goes, but it's quite a hefty pipe just to be run to the fuel reel. So it must run somewhere else. Anyway, that's that's where we're at to date. Nowhere near the bloody tight, the cam belt yet, or the timing belt. Is probably as much as what I'm going to get with things. Right, I'm not in position now where I either call this off or carry on. So, there's the other side of the, the cover. Right, there's the notch in the cover for the fuel pump pulley. Not. I can feel a notch in the middle of it. That's probably for the pensioner for the belt so I can get at that fairly easily and I can feel the other notch on the right hand side probably looking at my big head aren't you on that side so I have access to everything there that I really need can I get the cover back on again once I pop it how does the cover even sorry for my bad language it's hard in my French Really the cover 
Screwdriver. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Screwdriver. F and tight. Screw it. Force. Just walk the ice. Covers off, and I really don't know how I'm going to get it back on again. <laughs> oh, dear God. Feel the belt, can feel the tensioner, can feel everything in there. I'm just going to snip the belt off. Right. I ain't going to be able to get a torque wrench in there for 24 Newton meters. That ain't happening. It's going to have to be hand tightened. The good thing about this here is this one doesn't have to be timed in to the camshaft and the pump itself. I think in the 3 litre version, the newer engine, it has to be timed in, which I can't really see being a problem. As long as you had a mirror, you're going to need a mirror for it, obviously, to line things up. Oh, he says, not a problem. Yeah, right. I think I'm just at a stage now where I can feel the nut for the tensioner, I can feel the top of the belt, I can get access all around the pulley, both sides ish. I'm just trying to feel how far the belt is on the pulley from the side of it because obviously I don't want it slipping off. So there's about yeah. Lesson number one: wait till your hands are dry and not sweaty till you put these on. Lesson number two, get someone else to work in your Land Rover and pay them. Stop being stingy, like me. So, I don't know how much this costs to do in the front yard with a mobile mechanic, but <laughs> it's a ball ache, I do know that. Doable. If you want to uh, just spend the day at it, I am on holidays at the moment, so what month is it? We're in April. Yeah, so not that that matters, but yeah, wait till your hands are dry. Anyway, this is where we're at, right here. Jesus. Right. See if we can get you down in here quickly without pulling anything over. So there is the back of oh, looks I might have a coolant leak in there. I don't normally leak coolant so I don't lose any. I try and get a photograph of that in there. Okay, I do believe, okay, not the way I keep saying okay, yeah, I do believe I am at a stage where I'm ready to snip this off. Do I want to snip it off or do I want to try and just take the, I 
don't really want to try and take the uh, tensioner off but it's still tensioned up because whenever the nut comes out to the end I don't want it, it might end up destroying some of the threads as it comes out to the end so I am going to snip it and then that takes the tension off that and it'll be easier but the tensioner is keyed as well see here the tensioner has a key on it so that has to be taken into account I'm going to try and get that it's already pre-tensioned what you do here is that obviously goes into the hole where it goes and then you bolt it in torque it up to 24 newton meters I do believe it is which I'm not going to be able to do in there I don't have a torque wrench that will fit in there uh, and then you belt on over the top of it all and then you pull this here out to tension it and that's how that's done so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and locate this bit here of the tensioner in there so I know roughly where the key on the tensioner goes so I think the thing That's why I wanted to try and get a photograph of it, probably staring at my big head again. Right, I'm tempted. Let's see if I can get rid of this. Get this in a bit more. Yet. Piece of good information. Put your gloves on when your hands are dry. There we go. Right, I don't think we're going to be able to get that out of there. I need to get it out for the way though. Perseverance. Oh, for real. Right, she doesn't need better access now. Do the manual in, on the computer inside. I'm going to have to look to see what way that key goes. And make sure it snip the belt. Key goes. Excuse me. Bought these the other day, especially. Here goes guys, point in no return, make sure it is the belt I'm snipping, not the wiring loom. <laughs> yeah, might need to get the more manly ones out, then we cut the mustard.
da da. Junior height saw blade, bent in half. Watch it doesn't splinter on you. I'm just going to saw it off. Yeah, that's a lot easier. That is the belt. Right, we do have a coolant leak in here by the look of it. Now, I've never ever lost any coolant, to be honest. It is a Deco belt. I've never changed this. 